Gunlock likes gold, and Kevin, you just actually made a move in that space as well. We did, Frank. We added to our Freeport McMoran position. I know Stephanie owns this as well. It's a little bit more of a copper play right. than a pure gold play. And, and we're thinking of this longer term. We're not investing in this because we're thinking there'll be a China reopening or everyone's going to have an electric car. We, we think about this as an incredible business model that knows how to utilize cash flow. Now, they only pay a little bit under a 1% dividend, so not huge, but it's been increasing at a 25% clip on average for the past five years. And what we like most about that, this company is the way they've handled their debt. In 2016, they had $20 billion in debt. They've whittled that down to $4 billion this year in 2024. They know how to manage uh, their, their business, and there will be at some point a much stronger demand for copper. So this is an investment for us, not a trade, Frank. Uh, Steph, you also own Freeport, Mac Moran. What do you make of uh, uh, the stock and also just Jeff Gunlock's call there on gold? Well, it's been a frustrating stock, but if you can get the number one player in the industry trading at six and a half times EBITDA, you take that all day long. So I totally agree with Kevin. 12% of their business is is gold, so the rest is copper. So that's really why I own it. But the, the gold piece definitely does smooth out things. Uh, gold is a diversification tool, uh, and I don't, I don't have a problem owning it. I would just rather own a company that has exposure to it versus the pure uh, commodity itself. All right. Uh, looking at Freeport McMoran today, shares up just over 